Hey guys, um, we're finally working on another uh, game console. Uh, it's a PS3 Slim. It's the top of it. Um, it's gonna be a water-cooled build. See, that's the Blu-ray drive. Got the power supply back here. Uh, as you can see, I already removed the original heat sink and air duct off of it and I have the alpha cool PS3 slim water block it's made specifically for the PS3 slim it won't even fit the, the fat it's the way the screws are set up are different on each system um, so I already have this installed uh, I also put, had a couple of leftover heat sinks that I threw on some of the chips that uh, you can see these ones actually cover up there's two there those are the two that are right there there's a couple over there um, I'm gonna be using this reservoir it's gonna go be on top of the blu-ray drive you can see I have this uh, started to cut it out here and it's gonna be sitting right through there so it's going to be sticking out of the top of the PS3 um, the pump will be right here I'm still lining everything out to see exactly where I'm going to put it all but the pump will be here and the outlet of the pump will kind of curve around and go into this side of the water block the inlet of the pump I'm going to have a hole out here so it's going to come straight out here and probably loop around into the reservoir so it'll go from the reservoir pump into the water block and then I'm still waiting on my radiator to come in it's gonna be 120 millimeter I'm gonna be using this fan so that's gonna be just about right next to it just like that and the radiator underneath it um, so there will be another cutout right next to it here for the radiator at least sticking out and then as far as this part goes it, it fits over the pump if it's sitting right here it fits over it right here we have the temperature display and when this is over it the, uh, we have a little cutout right there for the temperature display so it'll be nice and flush right there and then obviously these two parts will stick out a little bit and there'll be a couple hoses that'll have to I'll probably have to drill a little bit more out in the back for the reservoir, the tubing to come out. Um, other than that, I'm still waiting on the radiator so I can finish mapping everything out before I cut it out, to make sure it all fits. Um, I'm going to be painting the top and bottom pieces of the PS3 white, so it'll be an all white system. Um, the temperature display runs off of five volts, and that'll that'll come out of the the wires that come out of the power, um, power supply right here they have a 5 volt wire and there's a positive and negative that I will use to wire this up as far as the pump um, I will not be using the original fan anymore but this fan is a 12 volt fan so I'll just cut these wires here and use those wires to power the pump as well as the this fan which will also be 12 volts um, I was thinking of getting an 80 millimeter reservoir or a radiator, sorry, and putting that in. There'll just be, you know, more room for it and everything. But I think after mapping everything out, I think it'll still be better with the 120. I'll just keep you guys updated and see how that is and uh, show you when I finish the wiring and everything. Um, and of course, the final product. Um, people are probably wondering why I'm doing PS3. Uh, I actually have a friend that uh, wanted me to water cool his PS3 back at school, and so I just I actually don't have a, any working systems at the moment. I have a couple Xboxes over there that are just taken apart, and um, I've been kind of bored, so I just picked up this PS3 Slim real cheap and uh, figured I'd water cool it. And if my friend still wanted. Uh, 
custom system, then I would just trade it for his PS3 with, uh, obviously, some cash. Um, so yeah, I'll, next video I'll probably show you guys how it's coming along. I'm still waiting on the radiator, like I said, and a couple other parts. Uh, got some new buttons and stuff for the controller, just to, so everything kind of matches. So, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.